Okay. We're heating up a steel billet made up of high carbon steel and pieces of pure nickel which has been welded at both ends. We've put three temperature indicators on the end of the billet which weighs approximately four pounds. The top pellet indicator will melt at 2100 degrees Fahrenheit. The second one will melt at 2300 degrees Fahrenheit and the third one will melt at 2500 degrees Fahrenheit. Heating is continuing by running electrical current through the coil. Have we passed the purity point yet? No. No, not yet. It's starting to heat though. Oh yes. Looking down into the coil, the face of the outermost part of the billet is a dull cherry red. The temp hill tablets are industrial temperature recording devices and they specifically melt at a specific temperature. Because of earlier experiments, the billet started off a little bit hotter than the boiling point of water. It's not at the moment heating evenly with the steel block furthest away from the input-output of the coil heating faster than the mass behind it. Interestingly, it's actually the side that has the nickel Yes. That heats the coolest, it seems. The one that's the free iron end yep. always seems to heat first, no matter what side it's on. We may have rediscovered the um, heat transfer capabilities of two, al uh, two minerals. We're going to hit the carry point soon. Here's just the water evaporating off of the uh, insulation. How's the inside looking? It's getting there. The insulation, which is designed to reflect heat back onto the billet, is approximately an eighth of an inch thick and has a destruction temperature of over 3,000 degrees.
we've hit the Curie point. Not yet. From the color of the material, I would estimate that it's at least 1,800 degrees now. And I have a current. If I go higher, I'll probably set the breaker off real soon. Does it look like it's still getting hotter? Yes, definitely. I'm going to keep it around 30, just so I don't set up the breaker yet. Would it help to put a cover on the top or yeah? Yes, it would. Here. First pellet has melted at 2100 at approximately 10 minutes. The second that's the slag that's uh, coming off. Okay. Second pellet is melting at 2300. We just lost our breaker. Okay. 2300 and less than 12 minutes. So much easier with a power hammer. But it has certainly raised, at least for a few minutes, welding temperature. <laughs> 